Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me, Peter. This is a video about one of the many tasks that I tend to go over and over again in my other videos. So in an attempt to help shorten the length of those, I am doing these tasks here for people who didn't know or wanted to know. And this is a video about the low and high poly export settings in plasticity. And what I want to go through in this video is the um, high and low poly workflow. So what you can see here is what I intend to use as my high poly. Okay, so this is um, some luggage that I made and I don't know, it's a fairly um, complex mesh. It's got a lot of surfaces and fillets and the zipper here. Um, so what I really want to do is export this one here that we have as the high poly and then as a low poly we'll export another one. So we'll just quickly go export save as and change this to OBJ. Okay. Now I'm going to, I've already done a practice here, so I'm just going to overwrite this uh, luggage high and already exists. Okay, so what we've got here is a triangulated mesh and I don't want to use that, I want to use Engons. So we'll switch it over, it takes a little moment. And what you can see here is that the fillets are relatively high poly and so uh, we could, if you wanted to get extra detail, we could take this up to one or a higher density. I don't think that's needed in this case. I think we're getting approximately the, the shapes that we need here. So you can see sort of where the surfacing is. There's a lot more funny engons and where it's more flat planes that I haven't modified. Um, I'm getting more basic stuff so you can see that a lot of this has been done uh, as surfaces as you can tell by the, the funky kind of geometry so moving on from there I'm just going to click OK and this may take a few seconds so uh, we'll just click OK and that's done now what I've also done I'm just going to click open is I've prepared a slightly lower poly version of this mesh. So we'll just go to luggage low. Okay. And there's only a couple of differences here. Uh, we'll just go into this mode. So I have just only real different. No, there is no difference yet. So what we want to do here is delete the zipper. So all of these meshes here, because that's going to be a baked detail later. And I think just, I don't want to remove too many of the fillets, but if we just remove these inner fillets on the um, wheels quickly, we just want to reduce a little bit of geometry. So I'm just going to select those uh, eight fillets, press X, keep the outer ones though, because we want, we want to see those later on. Um, and I think these things down here, these can all, these are smaller details. They can show up in the bake. So we'll just get rid of those quickly. Um, I don't really want to mess with a lot else, to be honest. I think there might be, I think that should be. No, I think I want to leave leave it as is because you'll see when we go to do the export. So we'll go export, um, save as, change it back over to OBJ, go back into that folder that I was using and we'll select low. Okay. And the low poly is where it gets a little bit fiddly because uh, there's different things you could do. I could have like spent ages removing all of these fillets up here. Um, okay, or we can go to this min width here and just turn that on straight away. Okay, but it's a little bit low poly. So we do want a little bit more detail. And what we are going to get is we're going to get a little bit more geometry here and there. Um, but I wouldn't worry about that too much if you're going for a, you know, higher end game engine. 
Um, you may want to do your retopo in a completely different way if you're trying to go for an uh, ultra low poly model, like manually retopologizing. But for, you know, uh, medium or high end console games or um, PC games uh, and things like that, uh, having a bit of extra geometry is not really going to affect. Well, it depends on the budget, but um, I'm just going to take this density down to like. Mm, Actually, if you hover over this min width, it comes up with a tooltip. Increase this value if you have too much detail in smaller objects like tiny fillets. So this is 0.1. Like, let's call this 0.11 and see what that happens. Okay. But look, we've lost a lot of detail in our wheels here. So what we really want is turn that off again. Just have a look, see what happens. Okay, so if we go here, 0.75 maybe, and see what happens. This is way too low, so we got 0.15. And I really am not happy with what's going on with these wheels. So just having a look around here, I think if we move this down to like a lower number, 0.045, and those wheels look rounder, so we could even try 0.04. Okay, you fiddle around with these numbers. Sometimes if you put too low of a value on something, but what you'll see here is the majority of these fillets have been... And if we turn this off again, what you'll see is we get back to having those like really high dense fillets like we had in our high poly. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off again. 0 0.04. Okay. And it's not as low poly as I'll like, but we can deal with that in the poly software as well. So this is pretty reasonable. For a, for a modern asset and it will go lower still about a third of that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click OK on that and we can head over to Blender and what we'll do in Blender is we will wait for it to load first so first of all, let's import our high poly. Okay, so it was an OBJ luggage. Okay. And it was the high poly one there. Okay. So the reason I want to do the high poly first and let's just, it's quite large. So what we might do is scale it 0.5 and looks a little bit funky so let's just um, go into our view mode and just bring the clip start up a bit okay so first thing that we want to do is rotate this I'm going to use the Engon plugin okay you can do all of this manually and I've set up a video on how to do that so we're just going to rotate object if needed okay on Ngon Pro okay and what I want to do is take all of these zippers because they're going to be part of the uh, they're not going to they're not in the low poly we as, as you know we deleted them from the low poly and I'm just going to select the main object and I'm just going to control J and join all of those zippers to that main body okay so that's what we've got there so all of that detail there is um, and as you can see we've got our high poly there with the slightly more detailed fillets okay so before we bring our low poly in I just want to select everything and go create low poly now if you want to know how to do all of this stuff manually without using the Engon asset I did make a video on that a little while ago before I produced this asset uh, this uh, plugin um, so you can do it there's also a free version 
um, that doesn't have all of the stuff, but it does have the basic stuff there as well. That's on Gum Road. Okay, so I'm going to create a low poly here. Create high poly rather, actually. So, and that's created all of our little groups. What we can do is we can minimize this backup group because this is making backups of the originals and the data transfer group. So. You can minimize those and you can see all your main objects in your high group and they're also down here as well so everything here has been given its names and the reason um the reason that if we go to plasticity is that i've named everything here so um i've pre-named everything in plasticity uh, with its names so if you do that you'll save yourself a lot of time and you don't necessarily need to rename in blender however in Angon there is tools to help you rename things if you haven't done that process okay there's other videos that document that so that's our high poly we can pretty much hide all of that now okay and let's import our low poly okay so we're gonna uh scale that by 0.5 like we did before and just rotate it again now if we unhide everything you'll see that they're in the same place so that's good so we just need to rotate uh that again because i control z okay so as you can see this is our low poly if we go we've got much less uh details here a little bit there um, I mean you could go lower our wheels are roughly wheel shaped we should be able to get a bake out of those fingers crossed okay and you can click select everything and create low poly okay and that's pretty much done now if you can see that with the uh, if we just turn off um, cavity you'll see that it's got that form but you can see almost with the cavity you can see the uh the low poly wireframe so if we can look at our wireframe or perhaps turn wireframe on wherever that's gone oh yeah they've moved it haven't they um you can see the wireframe there so that is relatively low poly if we compare that to our high poly um, and it's a little bit funky in areas, but we are going to, um, be baking this. So now for the rest of, for the rest of this, we want to UV it. Okay. You can do a more complex UV if you need to. Okay. But in this case, I'm just going to do two UV maps. One is going to be for all of the bits that aren't attached okay and we're going to open that we actually we can just sit uh smart uv unwrapping combine and i'm pretty sure i haven't uh updated uv pack master so let's just uh open that up pull this over here um to the blender for mode but we'll give it a go yeah so i haven't und so we're just gonna have to do a um blender pack for this one okay that's done okay and In blender internal pack still not as good as uv pack master but for the purpose of this and we're gonna give all of those a material and we'll give that material and we'll call it parts and I can take caps lock off and type it again. Okay, so that's that. And then for this one, smart UV unwrap and combine. And unlock it and we will go and we'll just do a blender pack on that one. Uh, pack islands. Okay. Didn't do much, but that's okay. Okay, so let's... And that's pretty much it you're prepared to go out now if you just unhide everything okay you can export either as uh individual you've got your low group here so you can select everything in the low group 
and export that and everything in your high group and export that and take it to your favorite baking software um, I tend to I tend to select it all and export it as an FBX and use the quick loader and marmoset tool bag anyway that's just a quick uh, little tutorial on low to high poly workflow um, using plasticity and blender so this is the pre baking um, side I'll do one on uh, just baking as well um, if you like the tutorial give us a thumbs up like follow subscribe and all of that if you want to use Engon um, then please do if you don't I'll put a link into the description for how you can uh, do a lot of this uh, stuff without using Engon this whole process okay thanks a lot guys see you later